Alright, 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 welcome to Pro Filmmakers. My name is Drajan Stadar, I'm a professional director cinematographer and it feels so good to start our epic YouTube journey with episode number one. In today's show we are going to talk about how to shoot the cinematic love scene. If you haven't done it already, feel free to subscribe to our Pro Filmmakers channel, hit the notification bell and show us a little bit of love and support in order to keep track with all the amazing content we are preparing for you guys. And now it's time to drop the intro! So how to shoot the cinematic love scene, 5 tips and tricks that I learned while doing it. Not while making love, but while shooting a love scene. In one of my recent short films, a teenage social network drama entitled Like, a love scene plays a very crucial storytelling element. Like the movie had a very successful cinema and TV distribution and due to popular demand we finally decided to release it on our YouTube channel and share this delicious film content with our beautiful filmmaking community. Before we proceed with the tips and tricks, let me tell you a little bit about our short film. The movie Liked is a story about a 17-year-old teenager, Anya, one of those pretty and likable girls whose life and self-image are directed by the number of likes received on her social media profiles. However, overnight Anya becomes a target of a web scandal because someone shared her intimate video clip on the social network. The video clip spreads like a blaze and creates a flood of disgust against our main protagonist. And in order to make this whole story believable, we had to shoot the love scene between Anya and her boyfriend Peter, which represents the turning point of this movie. This hot scene was scheduled on our first shooting day. So now that you have a bit of context why this love scene was so important to the success of our movie, let's dive in with our tips and tricks. Tip number one. One of the most important things that you should do as a director is to make your actors feel comfortable. If they're not comfortable, you will never get the performance that you are looking for. In order to make them feel safe and easygoing in front of the camera, you have to be very exact and precise what you are expecting from your actors, especially from the girls. The love scene occasionally might include a little bit of nudity, and in order to make them feel safe on set, you have to be very specific about what you want to shoot and how far do you want to push the love scene. Tip number two. My aim and my main approach as a director is to always work on the imagination of my audience and not show explicit scenes. This is what good filmmaking is all about, guys, arousing the viewer's imagination. And in order to achieve this level of spontaneity in front of the camera, one of the best things that you can do for yourself and your actors is to have rehearsals and preparations. And in terms of rehearsals, I don't mean exercising the scene in itself in a physical manner, but rather talking and discussing with your main actors about what you expect from them and what is the nature of their relationship that we want to portray in this movie. Tip number three. On the shooting day itself, you have to give them as little directions as possible. Your main goal as a director is to create an atmosphere of creation and freedom on set. So basically, you have to make your shooting set easygoing, but yet keep it organized. And the less instructions you give to your actors, the better it is, because that's the way they're going to connect to each other and make magic happen in front of the camera. If you're always in between, like suggesting the guy how to kiss the girl or explaining the girl how to flirt with the guy, man, you are missing the point in a big peep way. You are just not doing it right. Okay, let's go to tip number four. The foreplay 
is way more important than the act of the love making itself. In order to arouse the viewer's imagination, you have to work on the introduction, man. That's the 80% of the thing. In this case, we could easily apply the 80-20 rule. 20% of the action is 80% of the whole scene. You have to introduce the scene in a very appealing, good-looking way in order to set the right tone and mood. That's the name of the game. The interaction of how they look at each other is where the true chemistry lies. And you have to bring the whole crew on that vibe. So we are here already, tip number five. Plan your shots ahead and have a very specific, detailed approach on how to execute your shot list for the day. Obviously, the intention of the movie is to depict a love scene, but yet not be too explicit for the majority of the audience. My aim as a director was to keep it classy and avoid any explicit nudity, and that's why I had to really wisely choose the perspectives and the camera angles, how wide were the shots in order to create the atmosphere of attraction. Last but not the least comes the bonus tip number six. When you have your shot ready and everything is in place to start shooting the main love scene, make sure to kindly ask every single dispensable crew member to leave the bedroom where the scene is taking place. This way, you will help keep the intimacy that this scene deserves. Obviously, this type of scene usually arouses the curiosity of many crew members and that's completely normal. But everyone needs to do their best in order to leave enough space and freedom for the actors to perform at their best. So here is the short recap of today's episode. Tip number one, make your actors feel comfortable, be specific. Tip number two, work on the imagination of the viewers. Tip number three, have rehearsals, analyze the nature of the relationship and do not over direct. Tip four, foreplay is crucial. Five, plan your shots ahead wisely. Bonus tip, please keep your crew at the bare technical minimum. There you go, pro filmmakers. A couple of my personal tips on how to shoot a love scene and still keep it classy. I would like to invite you to see our full movie, Liked, which we recently released on our YouTube channel. Check the link here. If you like our show, subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And if you don't, that's okay. Subscribe anyway, because we are going to help you become a better filmmaker. Don't forget to comment below, we would love to hear what you think about shooting love scenes and how you approach them. This show was powered by Studio Production House, a video agency specialized in making video content look good, and Pro Video Rentals, a video rental company providing us with all the latest video tech. Make sure to stay inspired and shoot the stuff that you love, and always remember, no matter what happens on the shooting set, we're gonna ride, ride, ride like it's all right. See you next week in the new episode of the Pro Filmmakers. Adios!